Here we have three different meshes with different dimensions. The previous version of the simple procedural building generator could not quite handle um, meshes with different dimensions and mainly different widths. So if we were to pop those into the generator, it would look something like this. And as you can see, this produces a lot of errors and you do not really want your building to look like this. And that is because of the width, but also the height are different. But I implemented a new feature called auto scale, which is now on by default. And that is because it's more intuitive, but I recommend you to not use it and to keep all the meshes the same width for the best results. But let's see what happens when we turn that on. You can see that all the meshes are now properly scaled and they fit perfectly on the building. There is a drawback with this method and that is that one, it might mess up your textures because the mesh is now scaled and two, based on your building shape, you could get errors like this and that just looks absolutely ridiculous. If we bring in the original mesh, it should look something like this, which is not good at all. So to combat this, I implemented a feature called auto scale cap. What this feature does is caps buildings or sides of the buildings where the meshes are scaled too much or too little. And that is based on a auto caps auto scale cap tolerance, which you can decide. So 0.33 means that if it is scaled more than 1.33, it will cap it. Or if it is point that scaled less than 0.66, it will also cap it. So that's really good. Uh, this now means that we can put in any meshes we want and they will all automatically coexist with each other on the building. Let's take a look at the next feature on my list. Um, it's called, let's see, socket meshes. It is activated by default. So let's go into, for example, the mid mesh here. We go into the socket manager, which is right up here. And we click plus, it will create a socket for you. We'll just slide that one over here, maybe. Save. And now, let's see what happens. We can now see that meshes have started spawning on the middle mesh. Excellent. Now, why is this happening? It is because, or how is this happening? It's using the socket location and spawning a mesh there. So you can decide the spawn chance um, up here. So if we check, uh, it's 0.5%, uh, 0.5, which is 50%. So if we pop that up to one, it will now spawn on every single middle mesh and it will randomly select a mesh. Um, we have things like random scale where we can decide how much they are scaled randomly. So this is not really applicable for maybe the uh, air conditioning units, but can give you some variation. We also have a socket random rotation, which just rotates the mesh slightly based on that value to give it um, a slight varied transform. And the meshes are down in the meshes section and we can see them here. Let's see. Ah, yes. Meshes sockets mid. So if we want, we can add anything we would like there. Uh, yeah. I have a few few meshes there, so let's add that antenna. And we can see, yeah, they're spawning perfectly here. Okay, I just want to show you a few more things here in this update that is coming up. Um, we now have the ability to spawn trees as well. So uh, we just click in this bool that we want trees. And uh, we have a spawn rate chance and we have a distance between. This is how frequently they are spawned uh, and the tree mesh is down here in the meshes so we can put in anything we want there and it will randomly select a tree for us uh, you can see here that they're starting to spawn which is 
beautiful. And if we just get rid of these real quick and we drag that out, we get a long, a long building. Yeah, that looks better. Another thing I want to show you is the street stuff function or feature here. Let's click that in and we have about the same features as the tree, but instead of trees, it will kind of spawn anything you want that is associated to the street. So we have uh, the spawn chance, we have this, the distance between them, and let's see what that does. <laughs> Not so much. Here we can see a few signs ended up. So let's bump that spawn chance up, maybe, just to give you an idea. Yeah, now we can see it. Stop responding all over the place. And you can put anything you want in the meshes folder for the street stuff, and it will spit that out. Okay, that is the latest update, which should be live pretty soon. I mean, it should be live if you're watching this video. So thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions or any bugs you want to report, just send me an email. The email is in the documentation PDF. All right. Thank you.